Are you serious? A powerful show today and on my blog talk radio. Go to my website today from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have a special guest, Yuri Ben Avaram. That's Yuri Ben Avaram. He's from Jerusalem. He'll be calling and he'll be a guest on my show live while he's standing in Jerusalem. And we're going to be discussing uh, the effects of biblical prophecy of the, from the book of Zechariah and the potential attack upon the city of Jerusalem according to the scriptures and biblical prophecy. Now, there has been an archaeological, unbelievable discovery, and he is going to share it as he has talked to rabbis that have been in the tunnels and information that he has from people on the streets uh, there in Jerusalem. He sent me an email that says, The remains of thousands of Jews massacred by the Romans on the Temple Mount during the destruction of the Second Temple, may have been uncovered, according to a veteran archaeological journalist, Benny Liss. According to the daily newspaper Israel Hayam, Liss screened a video clearly showing thousands of human skeletons in what appears to be a mass grave. Now, Liss said that he told the amazed audience that he filmed this the shot was taken in a spacious underground cavern in an area of the Mercy Gate, which is a sealed gate in the wall of the old city of Jerusalem, opposite from the Mount of Olives and near the eastern wall of the Temple Mount. Now, I've been to Israel and stood on the Mount of Olives, and you can look right across the Kidron Valley, and there is the eastern gate, or the gate of the great king, or where Christ will come and return. But on down the wall, still in your visual vantage point, is the mercy gate. It's under this mercy gate, deep, 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 deep into the caverns of ancient time, lays the remains of 6,000 skeletons. And it says that uh, they're reporting that the remains of these 6,000 Jews, mostly women and children, that were killed right there at the Temple Mount by the Roman Empire on the 9th of Av in 70 AD and destroyed the second temple, of course, which was King Herod's temple. The massacres described in the writings of the great historian, Jewish historian Josephus, who defected from the Jewish people to the Roman side and witnessed the destruction and then recorded it. The uh, movie that is based on this discovery in the cave um, is, is going to show the following by a lighting technicians and cameramen that went inside there. The three first passed through a narrow passage and then it entered into this cave where the skeletal remains were. Now, Yuri is going to be talking to us. He has information about this and how it and, and, and the perception and the understanding by Jewish rabbis. We're going to be talking about Jerusalem live. The show begins at 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can click right there at Paul Begley Prophecy in the description. Click on it. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com and watch the show live. Listen, hear it all, and even participate in the chat room. And if you're looking for salvation while you're there, you can type, I want to be saved. Yuri will be with us live broadcasting today. Or if you can't be at your computer, you can listen to the show on your iPhone, your Android, your cell phone. On the cell phone, just call the number on the bottom of the screen and you can sit there and listen to the whole show on your cell phone. Or if you have an iPhone or Android, you can click on the link below, which is www.my.blogtalkradio slash coming apocalypse. So just click on it. It'll take you right to Blog Talk Radio. You don't want to miss today's show. It's going to be powerful. 
as our show continues to rise in the rankings there at Blog Talk Radio. Why? Because we're touching the subjects that the mass media won't even dare glance at. We're talking about the debt. We're going to talk today about the Sea of Azov that's right there. The Sea of Azov that's turned blood red right there on the borders of Ukraine and Russia. Right now, I've got pictures. I'll show that on my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. We're going to be talking about the rise of the Mahdi Special Forces as the Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and the is, uh, Islamic Supreme Leader of Iran of the, Shia, of the Shiites, the Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, are calling for a massacre, calling for a Middle East war, chaos, Jerusalem, so that maybe Allah, in their minds, will release the 12th Imam, the Allah Mahdi, the Muslim Messiah, to rid the world of injustices and bring peace. We're going to discuss the chemical weapons today on the show with Yuri that are setting along the Lebanon border with Syria, in Syria, but right on the Lebanon border, up there near the cedars of Lebanon. It's in the Bible. We're going to talk about it. Now, turn your Bible right now to Zechariah. Here's what the Bible says. In Zechariah 12.1, the burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut into pieces though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Wow, the new world order is coming, the beast is on the rise. I talk about this scenario in my new book, Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. If you go to my website, there it is, and you can, it's available right now. It's, you, want, you don't want to miss this. It's a fiction, but it's based on true historical facts, biblical prophecy, and an end-time fictitious apocalyptic scenario on how this thing may play out. It's a powerful read and it will touch your soul. It's filled with scripture throughout. It's sprinkled through as real life characters seem to come off the page. Explain. You'll feel the passion. You'll feel the, 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 the intensity. And if you know someone who's not saved, they may seek the Lord Jesus Christ while reading the book. Now, Zechariah 14 says this, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoils shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. And on the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley and half of the mountain shall be removed toward the north, and half of it toward the south. A mighty earthquake. And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azel. Now, you don't want to miss today's show. Again, Yuri will be with us live from the streets of Jerusalem on our show. He'll be our guest during the first hour. So at 12 noon, we're on for three hours, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But don't be late. He will be our guest during the first hour. Don't miss it. Are you serious? But you can always listen to the archive if, you can, if we're still here. I'm Pastor Paul Bailey. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved, Pastor. I want to be saved. I'll get back to you. 
Do it right here on this YouTube channel. I want to